Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is well. Today I'm going to show you how to take out fuel injection pump for Cummins 63TA 8.3TM engine. As you can see on my on the screen, the specification of the engines. You can see the timing, firing order, timing TDC, specifications, customer ID, and model of the engine. This is Cummins 60TA 6 cylinder engine. As you can see, I have already discussed connected high pressure pipes and uh, return lines. I have kept it in a tray, it's safe there. And you should also do that. Hope uh, you does not miss any banjo bolts or any bolts, mounting bolts. As you can see, I have also removed the cover for the locking nut. This is a locking nut. This is a fuel injection pump. The purpose of making this video is to know that before the purpose to of making this video is to show you how to remove injection pump because there is a no key in the gear. As you can see, there is a tool below the injection pump now it's outside you pull it out there's a hole in the flywheel there's only one hole in the flywheel you have to turn the engine manually and then insert it push it so that it match in the flywheel as you can see this tool properly it's below the fuel injection pump Make sure you, there is a two markings, you have to match it with the flywheel and in the pump. If you fix this pump without marking, without matching, the engine will not start or it will vibrate. So make sure you match both the timings which is in the flywheel. I have also removed the mounting bolts. There are four bolts, two in the back side and two in the front side also i have disconnected it with the actuator i have removed the link <coughs> so as you can see i'll just turn the engine manually i don't have proper tools because it was urgent so i couldn't bring it with me so I'm using it, I'm turning the engine with the help of a pipe wrench. So just turn the engine manually and other end push the tool inside. I'm just trying to push the tool inside. As soon as it matches, stop turning. And I hope so that the engine is in number one position and number one and no fuel injection pump is in the firing order. Number one will fire. This is a plug, you have to remove the plug. A lot of oil has been seen from it. Just make sure you just keep any tray below. You have to keep your atmosphere clean. In the plug, you can see one special tool, plastic tool. There have one slot in it that will go in the shaft of the injection pump. So there are two markings which have should be which have have should be matched together. The tool which is below the fuel injection pump it will go in the flywheel. And this is a tool which is fitted in the fuel injection pump. The slot will go in the shaft and the tool will go in the flywheel. After matching both this timing, you have to pull out the fuel injection pump. Make sure you mark it, you just match it properly. 
otherwise you will be having a very difficult for uh, fitting this pump engine will won't start and you will be only losing your efforts this is a slot this will go in the pump has the tool have been inserted in the flywheel i hope so this uh, also the timing has come in the fuel injection pump if you can't see the timing in the fuel injection pump just turn in one just turn it one round as you can see i have already measured timing and after inserting the tool just don't forget to pull back the uh, plug i just clean it and i'll show you the clear picture of the slot in the fuel injection pump as you can see a lot of oil is leaking there it is difficult to see uh, it's difficult to you to see a clean it with the cloth As you can see, the slot have already been seen. So both the timing have been match. I try to show you how it looks in the flywheel. This is the hole in the flywheel. The tool will go inside it. You have to insert it. And the slot in the fuel injection pump. this slot will go in the fuel injection pump so we are 100% sure that the number 1 is in firing position and and this will also insert it will go in the flywheel so our both the our matchings have been match so now we can remove the pump this is a locking nut this is a fuel injection pump slot as you can see remove the select the locking nut keep it face to face with the shaft just don't take out fully and with the help of a, of a brass rod or thorn rod you just hit on the shaft so that the pump is disconnected with the gear this remove the nut be careful you should not drop it inside and also there is a washer that should be taken out carefully and with the and smoothly and slowly just pull out the pump i hope you enjoy this video and do comment and like my video and subscribe my channel the purpose of showing this video making this video is that you can see that there is a no key on the gear i'll also show you on the shaft there is no key there is no key in the gear as you can see and there is no key on the fuel injection pump also I didn't see that.